Time is one of our most critical challenges. Every moment counts. Are we starting search on the east side of the park? If somebody is lost or it's a high stakes pursuit, it's the same. We don't know what condition they're in. They might be seriously injured. It might be a young child or a victim of a crime, anything. The information we get from dispatch is essential, but it's rarely the complete picture. Quick, accurate decisions are a must. Every action we take carries consequences. That's true no matter what time of day or night, but add darkness and our tasks get more demanding. Thermal cameras are great, but they're not a standalone solution. The picture they provide are all based on heat signatures. For example, a person curled up in the fetal position could appear to be a large rock or even wildlife. Sometimes we need more specific details, such as the color of clothing, signs of life, or even potential weapons. Thermal cameras help us identify if there's a person. But to verify we're right, we need more information. That information is the difference between confirming if it's a missing person or something else entirely. We've discovered that combining drones with spotlights greatly enhances our capabilities. Spotlights add clarity to what we're actually looking at. The more information we can obtain from the air, the more successful our mission will be. Our goal is to find the person that's lost or missing as soon as possible. We also need to keep our personnel on the ground safe. By identifying elements from the air, we enhance their situational awareness, giving them a viewpoint that they can't see from the ground. Having aerial spotlights that track with the drone's camera is a game changer. It means we're eliminating guesswork. With these lights, we illuminate the scene, offering reassurance to those that are lost. We're telling them we're here, we're on our way. I mean, sometimes when we're searching, the person we're searching for doesn't want to be found. They may have committed a crime or dealing with mental health issues. Either way, we use the spotlight to find them. We can also shut the light off, putting a fleeing suspect in the dark, making them think they got away, and then turn the light back on. In situations like this, the light provides us a tactical advantage. Having the light on the drone, we could use it in many ways to de-escalate a situation. Let's say a subject just committed a crime and they're fleeing and we're able to turn that light on that lets them know that we're there. Potentially that subject could surrender at that point. In all areas of public safety, visibility is key. The more we can see, the more informed our response becomes, resulting in safer and more efficient operations. It's a difficult metric to measure but the presence of drone lights reduces the risk to human assets, ultimately saving lives. It means we're putting equipment in harm's way instead of risking human lives, minimizing the threat to our personnel. Went ahead and got them here by the gate, east side of the park. Also, these lights simplify our navigation in hazardous environments that pose a threat to our unmanned aircraft. They help us avoid trees and power lines that are hidden in the dark. In our line of work, it's simple. Visibility equates to effectiveness. That's why we rely on lights from Tundra Drone. They've made a significant difference to us.